Hello again, first graders. It's me, Miss Smith, and I'm here to do your last mini lesson of the week. We have been learning all about pronouns this week, and today is our last lesson. And we are going to answer the question, how does in using indefinite pronouns work? We've already talked about personal pronouns. Are, remember, they are pronouns that take the, the place of nouns that are people. Then we talked about, yesterday, we talked about possessive pronouns. And let's review what a possessive pronoun is. A possessive pronoun is a pronoun that takes the place of a noun that shows ownership. It shows who something belongs to. So I have some sentences here, and the possessive nouns are in red. So we want to change them to a possessive pronoun. We know that pronouns can make our writing more interesting. And we're going to use our chart that we made yesterday to help us. Let's read. I'm going to zoom in on these sentences so that you can see them well. Here we go. John and Sally's house is close to the store. Whose house? Oh, it's John and Sally's. How would I change this possessive noun to a possessive pronoun? Which one of these do you think? There is correct. Their house is close to the store. Let's try another one. Sarah's dress is red. Whose dress is red? Sarah's, but which one of these possessive pronouns do you think would work? Her would be correct. Her dress is red. Mom's car is blue. Mom's is our possessive noun. It shows that it's her car. Oh, I just gave you a clue. Her would be our possessive pronoun that I would change the noun. Remember, pronouns disguise nouns. The family's dog is asleep. Whose dog? The family's. How could I change this noun into a pronoun? There is correct. Their dog is asleep. Well, today we're going to look at a new kind of pronoun. And this one is a little bit tricky. This is called an indefinite pronoun. An indefinite pronoun is used to talk about nouns without saying who, where, or what they are. Now, an indefinite pronoun is different than the other pronouns we have talked about before. I'm going to take off my... Oh, maybe I can't. It's okay. It's different than a, a pronoun that we have talked about before because... It is made up of two parts. It's actually a compound word. So the beginning, the indefinite pronoun, has one of these four words in the front. Now there's a little line after each of these because there's another part to the word, and we'll look at that next. But any, every, no, and some is how our indefinite pronouns start. Let's look at some examples. We have the indefinite pronoun any. In order to replace a person, you could say anyone or anybody. To replace a place, you could say anywhere. And to replace a thing, you would say anything. We know that a pronoun replaces a noun. And a noun is a person, a place, and a thing. Well, if you are using an indefinite pronoun, remember you're not telling who someone is or where someone is or what. It's kind of like a mystery. So it ends with one body, where, or thing. And that tells you if it's replacing a person, a place, or a thing. Another example would be starting with every. Everyone, everybody, those would replace people. Everywhere would replace a place and everything would replace a thing. No, nobody, no one, that would replace people. Nowhere would replace a place and no thing or nothing would replace a thing. Some, you could have somebody or someone, that would replace a person. Somewhere, 
that would replace a place, and something that would replace a thing. So now it's your turn. You're going to look for, today you're just going to be a detective and see if you can find some of those indefinite pronouns. You're gonna record the indefinite pronouns that you see in each sentence in the blue box below. Everyone was at my house for dinner last night. You're going to find the indefinite pronoun in the sentence and record it in the blue box. I didn't have anything to do last weekend. Find the indefinite pronoun, record it in the box. My dad went somewhere for business last week. Record the indefinite pronoun that you see in the box. And last one, nobody was home when the doorbell rang. Find the indefinite pronoun and type it in the box. Now, if you need help remembering what those indefinite pronouns are, I have left a chart on the next slide of all the indefinite pronouns that we talked about in this video. So you can look at that to help you if you need it. Let's review all of our pronouns that we've learned this week just to wrap up so we can remind ourselves what we have learned. It's always good to reflect back on what you've learned this week. Remember, pronouns take the place of nouns to make our writing more interesting. That's why we use them. We want to change up our word choice. Personal pronouns take the place of a person. Example, I, he, she, we, they, all examples of personal pronouns. Possessive pronouns take the place of nouns that show who something belongs to. They show who owns the noun. For example, his, her, their, our, your. And indefinite pronouns take the place of nouns without saying who, where, or what they are. For example, everyone, anything, nobody, someone. All right, make sure to do your job today and see if you can find those indefinite pronouns. I'm proud of you, first grade. Keep up the great work.